I joke that two people taught me Hebrew, Eyal Golan, who's a singer, and Yo, who refused to speak to me in English when I lived in Israel um, 10 plus years ago. Um, I think the day after I got there, to, the day after I moved to Israel, me and Yo were protesting on the roof of a building many years ago. Um, and we've remained very, very, very close friends. Oh, I tell everything. <laughs> Not all the secrets, but we spent a lot, a lot, a lot of time together 10, 12 plus years ago, and we've remained very close. Our ideologies have moved in different directions, um, but we've remained very close personally, and I think the world of Yol as an individual. Yol was the chairman of um, Beitar, um, was regarded as very close to Prime Minister Sharon, is today regarded as very close to the current Prime Minister Ehud Olmert. Um, Yol, frankly, universally is regarded as one of the rising stars of Israeli politics. Um, he's 35 years old, um, is currently the chairman of the Kadima party. Um, Kadima has you know, its political issues, and Yol is frankly at the center of many of those political issues. Um, so we've asked Yol here today to speak about the future of Israel, the future of the peace process. Because Yol is a friend, I'll tell you that you know we work with a lot of Israeli politicians, and Israeli politicians aren't here soliciting votes. Um, you can't vote for them. So there are many ways that you can support them, and I would encourage those of you who like Yoel, or who believe in Yoel, to please see me after the fact, or obviously see Yoel directly, or Debbie, where's Debbie? Gotcha. Debbie, with her hand in the back, is somebody that works with Yoel, so if you can't get to him immediately afterwards, speak, please speak with Debbie. Um, but Yoel's floor, Yoel, thank you for joining us, and please, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, I'm very happy to be here. First of all, I want to thank you very much. First of all, for your friendship, and I'm very glad to be in, uh, in your office. And I really appreciate the fact that you came in this time and with all the traffic around, you know. And uh, this is New York. Uh, I just came actually from Chicago. I was the guest of the API, A, A Pi, A Pi. It's a, a Jewish fraternity, if you know, maybe some of you. And you've been there? I'm a brother. <laughs> and uh, actually, it was it was really amazing to 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 meet so many young people. Not only young, but a lot of them young people that care so much about Israel and interest about the issues that Israel interests. And and it was really really fun and really interesting for me to be there. Uh, as one say, I'm uh, the member of parliament from Kadima. I am the head of the coalition uh, in uh, Kadima. I'm the head of the uh, Kadima function in the Knesset. And you know, when you are managing the coalition in the Israeli political system, you know, formally or technically, we have the majority. We have the 64 member of Knesset that support the government. And you can be in a regular country, you can be quiet, everything is okay. But not in Israel. Actually, every Monday, I need to check my majority. And I need to check if I still have 64 members of Knesset that supporting uh, the government. And it's, uh, every Monday, it's, it's the same. And every Monday, actually, the Prime Minister should, should, be, should pass a, a vote of confidence every Monday. So it's a crazy system, but we are all maybe in the future. We hope maybe in the future to change some of this uh, system. But... Uh, Probably you, were, you heard about the decision of the Prime Minister only to actually resign after the primaries in Kadima and he decided to uh, leave the office, uh, the, the, his position as the Prime Minister. And actually in Kadima, now it's a very dramatic, uh, uh, dramatic time because we're actually going to choose the next Prime Minister of Israel. Uh, it's something that actually, I, I think happened only 30 years ago when it was the Mapai time for more the Labour Party and Mapai, if you remember, that was choosing the prime minister inside the party without actually a real election. Uh, but now, because we are in the middle of the term of this Knesset, Kadim are going to, uh, to elect a new, uh, a new chairman, and he probably become going to be a, a, a prime minister immediately and try to establish uh, and to create a new, a new government. We have Mofaz and we have Livni. Uh, are, this is the main <coughs> candidate, actually. The, the, the fight is very close, I think. Nobody actually knows what's going to be what's going to be the final result. I myself uh, announced that I support Tsipi Livni, and uh, I know Tsipi Livni a lot of years, and I think she can be a great prime minister. And I think that Tsipi Livni represents something that the Israeli politics needs very much, and it's hope. One of the main problems that we have in Israel today is that the Israeli people actually give up from the Israeli politics. 
<coughs> give up from, from the politician. And less and less people actually take part in, in, a, in the election. Less and less people want to be involved in the Israeli politics. And when you research and you check the Israeli, uh, the public opinion in Israel, you see that Tzipi Livni for them can change the, the, the uh, attitude to, to the Israeli politics and can, can give them more hope, can give them reason to take part in the democratic process in Israel. And I think it's, it's very, very, uh, uh, very, very important. And uh, even before of the main problem that we have, and probably I'm going to say something about that, but before we are dealing with the problem with the Palestinians and with Iran and everything, we should deal with the inside problem that we have in Israel. And we should make sure that our society always be, uh, stay strong enough to handle with all the challenges that we have. And one of them is the convince them to, to take part in the democratic process, democratic process uh, in the Israeli uh, politics and in, in the in election, any election that happens. So that's why I hope that Tzipi uh, Livni, uh, or if it's going to be Shaul Mufaz, never mind. I, I, I really hope that we can establish a stable government and try and make some electoral uh, reform in the law, in the electoral law in Israel, make some reform, changing some of our system, try to stable the system. I think one of the main things that we need to do is to try to establish a united government. Now, or if not, maybe after the election. I think it's important to try to establish a government of the three main parties in Israel, Likud, Labour, and Kadima, and make a majority in the Knesset, and first of all, change and deal with the main problem that we cannot change, actually, because we don't have the majority or because we are depending on smaller, smaller parties in the parliament. But if we're going to be united, all the three parties, we can make the reform and we, make, we can succeed to change some important law by the electoral law, uh, about, um, about education issue, welfare issue, the budget, the, 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 uh, how we see the Israeli budget, all that we can do better, I believe, in the government of, a three, uh, of the three main uh, parties.